Hi, I'm Julian Spector, a reporter with Canary Media, and I'm here to show you something that just might be the future of cooking. So what I've got right here is an induction stovetop, a uh, miniature hot plate edition. This is a technology that takes electricity and uses it to generate magnetic waves that are able to pretty quickly heat up certain types of pots and pans. Since it runs off electricity, it's considered a front runner among the ways to continue cooking great meals in a world that's powered by clean energy instead of by fossil fuels. But most people have never had a chance to use one or maybe even seen one. So what I'm gonna do here is film myself cooking with it, playing around with it in the kitchen, and uh, then you can decide for yourself if it seems like something you wanna check out. Hey, wait a minute. I like cooking with gas. I like how it goes, you know, right when you need it to. Why should I bother with this newfangled thing? In other words, why should we care about induction stoves? That's a fair question. For one thing, gas use in the home has become a new front line in the battle over carbon emissions. You see, climate activists in many places are pushing for rules that would convert homes to running all on electricity, which could be clean electricity, instead of burning fuels. And in response, the gas industry is running lobbying campaigns, paying influencers to talk about how great gas stoves are. I cook with gas because I'm in control. The flame could be adjusted for the perfect shrimp old. And even getting laws passed at the state level that would prevent communities from taking away gas customers. Now, the vast majority of the gas that gets burned in your house is actually going to be for heating water or just heating the space. But do you ever really take time to think about those appliances? No, I really don't. Exactly. The tension, dare I say, heats up when we get to stoves. See, if we're going to get rid of fossil fuels as a society, we're going to need to start cooking without gas. And that's really hard for a lot of people to visualize. Now, I'm just an energy reporter, so I don't have any stake in kind of what appliances you put into your home or use. But I did want to highlight two arguments for why some people are moving away from gas stoves and looking at induction instead. So one is climate change. Releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere warms the planet. Your stove is part of that. Now there's another argument, which is actually about personal health. And it turns out there's a very established and still growing body of evidence on the health impacts of igniting gas in your home and breathing in the particles that come from that. It's really not good. It's bad for lung health, heart health, and especially for children in the household. So if either the climate argument or the personal health argument is of interest to you, then you might want to start thinking about induction. And by the way, don't associate these with the kind of old school electric stoves that you're probably more familiar with, with those coils. This is a newer technology. I have a dog, so I put my love and affection into my cookware. Aww. I really don't want to give up all the years of careful seasoning I put into these things. But the problem is, not every pot or pan works on an induction stove. The rule of thumb is if a magnet sticks to it, then it will work. But I'm all out of magnets. Results are in. So we had the induction stove getting to a rolling boil in nine minutes and nine seconds by my count. The gas stove coming in at 15 minutes and 48 seconds to bring the same amount of water in the same pot to a boil. 
So that is, uh, that is a clear win for induction. That is not even close. One point that actually surprised me was that it's stronger than I expected. Like, I, there were several times when I was just trying to brown some onions, for instance, turn away, do some other things, come back, and they're already like way farther than I thought. Uh, it took some calibrating because I just sort of expected it to be a weak electric thing. Uh, not the case. I, uh, you know, was curious what it would be like cooking steak on it, so uh, I made myself a Valentine's Day dinner. It came out beautifully. The crust on that steak, golden, delicious, and very evenly cooked throughout. So good on steak. The temperature setting, it has a bit of a learning curve because on the induction, since it's electric, you can you can dial in exactly what temperature you want to cook at. You know, on a gas stove, I have no idea what temperature I'm working with. I do, you do high, medium, low, and kind of that's that's it. So you. Uh, actually have a lot more choice over the way you cook uh, and that comes in handy for things like if you want to simmer a soup for a really long time and not boil it you can plug in a, a setting that will only simmer and not boil if you have any other questions let us know uh, either in the comments or uh, tweet us at canary media uh, or email us we'd love to keep this going keep uh, answering your questions and exploring the the new frontiers of home electrification.